Today let's learn about comparison operators. These are specially useful when we want to extract some set of data wherein we do not know its exact values or fetching a range of values. In such cases we could use comparison operators. Here I have some data to be inserted into a database. Note that the collection name is person here db.person.insert person is the collection name this is the plain javascript file that i have saved in temporary folder of c directory now i'll load this data into a database i have started the mongodb server if you are following along the tutorials you already know how to load this javascript file data into our new database mongo is our javascript console 127.0.0.1 is our localhost slash satish satish is the new database name and the next parameter is the file name path to load.js file we already have we loaded the data into database satish i'll start using it let's check if all these data present inside our javascript file has been loaded into database satish so the collection name is person dot find please go through these entries it's very simple name of the person age and an array containing his or her skills simple on this data we will perform some operations using our operators so the first one please be sure about the syntax here in the second parameter i'll tell which are the fields I need to extract. I'll just extract the name here. I'll exclude underscore id field because all these names are unique. I'm just showing this for the purpose of illustration. Skills is the key. It's an array element. Now dollar. All the operators in MongoDB starts with this dollar symbol. dollar all this dollar all operator matches arrays that contain all the elements specified in the query in this case html and css no person in this list has his skill sets as html and css you could go back and check it so nothing has been returned Instead, we could go ahead and change it to HTML and ASP. That would return Varsha. And Sunita. Both of these skill sets, that is HTML and ASP, are processed by these two persons. So both of these array elements must be matched in dollar all now another operator that is in either html or asp either of the array elements must match so dollar in matches any of the value that exists in an array specified in the query html matches these two people CSS is not processed by any person in this list but HTML is skill is processed by these two people now Java this doesn't return anything because of case sensitivity change this to caps capital J and it will return Varsha as the only person with the skill set of Java now there is not in so both of these 
must not be there css nobody possesses java only varsha possesses except her everybody else else's name will be returned now let's turn this css into asp now this person has asp varsha has java jyoti has asp sunita has asp kiran doesn't possess java neither asp satish also doesn't possess java and asp so satish and kiran will be returned now let's work with age number well this all these works with numbers too if they are contained inside array elements so gt is greater than so all the names whose age is greater than 25 note that satish's age is 25 but his name won't be returned because it is not greater than 25 it is not greater than 25 so satish won't be returned here varsha amo kiran will be returned because all their age is more than 25 if i write greater than or equal to then my name would also be included here so you, you to specify a range just put a comma and then tell the limit lt means as you could already guessed it's less than less than not equal to so amok's name won't be returned here because it's not less than 29 it's 29 kiran will be returned and satish will be returned because it's equal to 25 and less than 29 now if i make it less than or equal to and remove this greater than or equal to kiran and amog will be returned in this case because kiran says is 27 which is greater than 25 and less than 29 here if skills is a sub object and it contains a key called tech then we need to specify this key in single quotes like skills dot tech all this syntax is same for sub objects and other elements of this mongodb so in our next video let's see logical operators these are some of the comparison operators present in mongodb stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin google plus twitter etc like this video on facebook and on youtube